Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to add Calendly invitee details in Notion database. So here my objective is that whenever an invitee will be created in Calendly, then I want to add the invitee details in my Notion database. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I will be using this amazing integration and automation software that is Pabli Connect. So to do this, here my trigger application will be Calendly and my action application will be Notion. So if you want to learn more about this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we are going to understand how to add Calendly invitee details in Notion database. So here my objective is that whenever an invitee will be created in Calendly, then I want to add the invitee details in my Notion database. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I will be using Pabli Connect. So here, as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm signing in. Now this year is the all applications page by Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I have named it as add Calendly invitee details in Notion database. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I have created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Notion. And now I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So moving to my use case, that is to add Calendly invitee details in Notion database. So now in order to do this, here in my trigger window, I'm going to use Calendly as my trigger application because here the invitee is being created. And now the trigger event will be invitee created. So now as I want to add the invitee details in my Notion database, so here Notion will be my action application and here it is. And the action event will be to create database item because in my Notion database, I want to add the Calendly invitee details. So here you can see that as I have selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So my objective is that whenever our invitee will be created in Calendly, then I want to add that invitee details in my Notion database. So in order to do this, firstly, I need to establish a connection between Calendly and Pabli Connect. So to do that, here I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, I'm simply going to click on connect as I've already opened Calendly in one of the tabs. Here you can see that the authorization is successful. So now moving to these details, as I've selected the trigger event as invitee created organization. So this here is the organization and this here is the username. So now as soon as I'm going to click on the save and send test request button, that will mean that I have to do a test submission in order to record the response over here. So now to do that, let me click on save and send test request. And here you can see it says that now you have to do a test submission or record in that application in order to capture the response over here. So as my trigger application is Calendly and these are the two events which I have created. So let's say that I am going to do a test submission for this event by the name of digital marketing event. So I will go to the view booking page. And here I'm going to select the date and time. So I'm selecting the date as 25th time as 10 a.m. And now I'm going to click on next. And here I'm going to fill in the details. So here I've mentioned the test invitee details. First name is dummy, last name is user, a dummy email along with a dummy phone number. So now here you can see that as the time is selected as 10 to 10.30 a.m. That is Monday, December 25th. This event is for 30 minutes. And now I'm going to click on schedule event. So here it says you are scheduled. That means the test invitee which I've just created is scheduled for the event named as digital marketing event. So here in Pabli Connect, you can see that I have received a response. Here is the email. 
here is the full name here is this invitee scheduled by link and here are some other details as well so over here you can see the event name as well so that means the test invitee which i've just created so the details of that invitee is successfully captured over here in pably connect so the first objective of this automation is set up that is now whenever in calendly a invitee will be created that invitee details will be captured over here in pably connect so this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time so as i've got the invitee details over here in pably connect now i want to add the same details in my notion database in order to do that here firstly i need to establish a connection between notion and pably connect so i'm going to click on connect and now to add a new connection i'm simply going to click on connect with notion as i've already opened notion in one of my tabs so here it is asking for to allow pably connect to access these pages as this is a secure access i'm going to click on allow and here you can see that the authorization is successful so that means the connection between pably connect and notion is successful so now moving to database here i need to select the database from notion so here taking you to notion these are the database which i've created so i want to add the invitee details in this database which is by the name of calendly invitee and over here it consists of these fields such as invitee name email phone and the event so here in pably connect i'm going to select the database as calendly invitee so now moving to these details of invitee name phone event and the email so here i'm going to use this method of mapping so basically mapping means to insert the data from previous step so as i have received the response over here i'm going to search for the name and here is the name i've mapped it now moving to the phone again from the response received i'm going to map the phone number so here it is now moving to the event so here i'm going to search the event name that is by the name of digital marketing event now moving to the email so again from the response received i'm going to map the email so here you can see i have mapped the details in this fields this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response with new data so that data can be taken into consideration in these fields if i would have written this information manually in that case this information would have become static which means that it wouldn't change even if i would have received a new response so to avoid that problem we map the information so as i've mapped all of the details here i'm simply going to click on save and send test request so now here you can see that i have received a response and this here is a positive response so now i'm going to take you to my notion database and over here you can see that the details of the calendly invitee is successfully added in this notion database here is the invitee name email phone and the event name so this automation and integration is a successful one that means now whenever a new invitee will be created in calendly then automatically the calendly invitee details will be added in notion database not just these applications you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of pably connect so if you have any doubts regarding pably reach us at support@pably.com and if you have any queries you can visit us at forum.pably.com if you have any pricing related query you can visit this link so if you like this video please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like share and subscribe our channel